My name is Mika Song, and I'm here to tell you about my new graphic novel early reader, Apple of My Pie. It's the follow-up to Donut Feed the Squirrels, and it comes out in June from Ramen House Graphic. Um, Apple of My Pie will continue the adventures of Norma. Belly, and Little Bee. As they go on a rescue adventure to save their beloved Gramps, who's been whisked away to a pie factory. So they'll have to use teamwork and creative problem solving to bring their gramps back home safely. And in other exciting news, thanks to the hard work of Allison Hellagers and Stimola, Donut Feed the Squirrels is going to be coming out in French. So thank you. And the last exciting bit of news I have is that the, the Adventures of Norman Belly are going to continue past book two to book three, which I'm working on right now. Um, and book three is going to be about... I actually can't tell you what book three is going to be about, but I can give you a clue. And the clue is... This. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you get a chance to check out Apple of My Pie. Thanks. Hi there. My name is Dan Abdo and I am the co author, co illustrator of a new series of early reader comic books coming out with first, second books called Blue, Berry, and Pancakes. Um, Blue, Berry, and Pancakes. Is a story about three best friends, Blue, a worm, Barry, a frog, and Pancakes, this big yellow rabbit. And it's about these crazy, absurd action adventures that they go on, but at the heart of these stories is their friendship. It's about how friendship is hard and friendship is messy, and sometimes as a friend you make mistakes, but if you face up to those mistakes, you can grow from them. We wanted to tell stories that were going to help kids be better friends. So speaking of good friends. I'm going to send you over to my co-author, co-illustrator, Jason Patterson, who is my best friend, and he is going to tell you more about these stories. So Jason, take it away. Hey, uh, I'm Jason. Dan, thanks so much for that intro. Um, Dan is totally my best friend. He's the amazing artist, and he's the funniest guy I've ever met. Um, so he talked about characters. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what happens in these stories. So they all start off in this awesome tree fort where all the characters live. And they each live in an apartment that kind of reflects their personality, right? Pancakes is super messy with dumbbells, clothes all over the ground, giant boombox, berries, has a cool drafting table, blueprints, everything's nice, neat, and tidy. And then Blue lives in this basement apartment that's got a cozy fireplace and a nice worn out chair, perfect for reading. But the stories start there, but they always go to these crazy outlandish places. Like they go to a balloon planet that's made entirely out of balloons. They go, they get trapped in a Yeti's cave where they literally have to dance their way out. They even go to a volcano birthday party hosted by a giant duck. And the reason these places are so big and outlandish is because we want them to reflect kids' emotions, right? When kids are playing together and they get their feelings hurt, they've never been so sad. But then when their friends all come together and give them a hug, it's like they've never felt so happy. So the stories need to reflect those big emotions and really burst off the page. And we think you guys are going to totally love these stories, like reading them to your kids or just for yourself. I think they're so much fun. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Salati, illustrator of In a Small Kingdom, written by Tommy DePaola, and Lawrence in the Fall, written by Matthew Farina. Lawrence in the Fall received a 2020 Ezra Jack Keats Honor Award for both story and pictures, 
with foreign rights in China, Germany, and the Netherlands. Hot Dog is my first book as author and illustrator, coming in spring 2022 from Knopf Books for Young Readers. The story features a day in the life of a small dog and his owner who are navigating the noise and crowds and heat of a city summer day. The little dog has feelings anyone can relate to. We all have moments where we feel stuck or anxious, scared or frustrated as we navigate the world around us. If we're lucky, we learn how to keep calm and find our way back to feeling like ourselves. Sometimes we need a little help from a friend to get us there. Relief can come in the form of a place, too, somewhere we feel safe and relaxed. In the story, the little dog is a stand-in for anyone who has experienced overwhelming thoughts and feelings, and the dog is fortunate to have a friend that acknowledges his discomfort and brings him to a place where he has the space to explore and play. Their time at the beach allow them to return home feeling soothed, replenished, and maybe even a bit more appreciative of the wonderful things city life has to offer. Spare poetic text heightens the visual narrative created by the vertical panel structure and hot colors of the steamy city and the horizontal panels of their seaside escape. Thank you so much for the chance to introduce you to Hot Dog. I hope you enjoy the book and take care. My name is Jashar Awan. I'm an author and an illustrator. For my new book, Only Ants for Andy, I drew from my personal history to tell the story of a picky kid who tries new things and learns that different can be good. My name is Juliana Perdomo, and I'm an author and illustrator from Bogota, Colombia. I have worked in books like Rainbow Colors, the Baby Board Book series, and El Cucuy is Scared Too. I am also the author and illustrator of Sometimes All I Need Is Me, a story about a girl who loves her cozy home. It smells like cinnamon tea, and feels like warm pajamas. But even when she's away and everything is different, she can still feel calm. At night, when it's too dark and cold, her room can be a scary place. But she creates her own light when she closes her eyes and thinks of the sun. This is an uplifting book for anyone who's going through hard times and changes. It reminds us that we always have ourselves to turn to, and sometimes that's all we need. It will be published March 1st, 2022 by Candlewick Press. Thank you, Bologna Children's Book Fair, for watching. All my love for everyone. Bye. Hi, my name is Derek Desierto, and I live in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. I design for children's animated TV shows, and I also work as an illustrator. You might know my work from the Juno Valentine series. But today, I'll be talking about my new picture book, Oddbird. The idea for Oddbird came to me just as I was sitting at my desk. I drew this funny looking bird and right away the story came to mind. As you can tell, Oddbird isn't like the other birds. He's not fancy or colorful, he's just different. Let me read you a bit of the story. It was a hot day in the jungle, the birds were at the pool, but none of them were swimming. 
all they cared about was showing off their fabulous feathers. Then, another bird appeared. His feathers weren't fabulous. He was an odd bird. And he was hot after a long flight to the pool. He was excited to finally cool off. As he dipped his toes into the water, he felt everyone's eyes on him. He has no color, said one. Are those even feathers, said another. All the birds agreed that Oddbird didn't belong here. Out, out, out! Oddbird flew away as fast as he could. He had always looked like this. His feathers were his feathers. Why was it a problem for the other birds? As he hopped around the jungle, he noticed how much color was all around him. And he had an idea. Oddbird is ultimately a story about staying true to yourself, that it's okay to be different, and how important it is to always enjoy and have fun. Hello, I'm Chris Gall, and I'm 20. Uh, my book I'm bringing, presenting today is Big Rig Rescue, and it is published by Norton Young Readers. It will debut in January of 2021. Uh, Big Rig Rescue is the story of big rig tow trucks and how they get their job done. Our story begins on a snowy day. There's a storm brewing and a wreck on the highway. And that means one thing, we're gonna need the help of Big Orange. He's got 14 wheels, a boom, a hook, and oh yes, a winch. He's available 24 seven to help out all trucks in need anywhere. And today we've got a rollover on the highway. So this book is also about the tools that are gonna be needed to help affect the rescue. We're gonna need chains and webbing straps and a snatch block. We're gonna need a rescue saw. We're gonna need airbags. And of course, we're gonna need a crane as well. And if all that is not enough to, uh, to rescue the truck on our own, we're gonna need the help of Big Blue. We're gonna need another tow truck. And we're also gonna need pulleys. We're gonna find out about how pulleys work and how they can roll a whole big semi back onto its feet. And then lift it up and tow it away for repair and also towing the cab itself away for repair. Most of the time we try to fix the trucks. And the good thing about being a tow truck is that even if a tow truck gets in trouble, there's always another tow truck around to help you out. And that is my book. Please be on the lookout for the next in this series in 2022, Big Ship Rescue. And thank you so much for watching.